The last stop before the IBU World Championships in Antos Antaselva coincidentally was also the final test for the venue that will host them in 2021. On the Slovenian high plateau of Pokljuka, a new demanding track tested athletes and the physical shape before a much deserved break. It was different tracks. Uh, normally the World Cup is set from, from every year, but uh, now they make changes, I think, before uh, the World Champs. So I tested it on the warm-up today. Uh, so, yeah, I tried to just do my best and uh, I think I found a good solution for the race. And Johannes Dignesbø most certainly found the right feeling right from the start. As in his first competition since his paternity leave, he shot the perfect 20 out of 20 to win the 20 kilometers individual. On a day when clean shooting proved fundamental, Martin Foucault closed second with Fabien Claude third for first ever career podium on a very emotional day for him and his family. In the women's competition, finding the zero proved just as key for the success, but as a surprise to most, it was Denise Hermann to do so. Finishing an individual competition for the first time in her career without any fault, the German closed ahead of Olympic and world champion in the format Hannah Oeber. Yeah, it was a perfect day, but I was, uh, my main goal was to stay focused on every target and every shooting and make step by step my competition. And yeah, it was a tough race, but uh, yeah, I know individual normally is not my favorite, but today it was amazing. But if the perfect day at the range by Hermann felt like a surprise, the most unexpected story of the week came from Estonia. René Zakna and Regina Oya broke history by finishing second in the single mix relay. The first ever relay podium for the country came thanks to great shooting by both and an incredible last look by Oya. Of course we dream about such things but the whole other reality is to really achieve it. Does anyone know what place I was in individual? <laughs> 101. So, <laughs> this is biathlon, it's unbelievable what you can change in two days. I can't connect the dots, like how do you end up in here? It was a little bit pressure, but I think we managed it well. We had focus, we knew what we had to do, and it's always the right thing to just think about the result after the race. The two competitions of Saturday were taken home triumphantly by France. Anaïs Bescon backed up a third place in individual by bringing home the win in the single mixed. While Justine Brezard's leg proved key in the mixed relay, closed by Julia Simon. But the success for the French team was not to end there, and a thrilling men must start most expected a Burr versus Foucault duel, but on top of it came Quentin Fillon Maillet. Perfect shooting gave him the lead after the last range and he never looked back. A terrific fight for the second place spiced up the last loop, with Benedict Dole having the better of Burr, Furkard and Bettle Schoestad Christiansen. The French podiums did not finish there, with Anaïs Bescon coming in third in the women's must start. An exciting final shooting witness Lisa Vitozzi leaving in first, but Oeberg passed her on the tracks for the first win of her season. The Italian could still be happy with a first podium of 2020, a relief ahead of the home world championships after a difficult start of her season. And indeed now the World Cup tour takes two weeks off, as athletes will recharge the batteries ahead of the IBU World Championships in Antols Antraselva, where all will want to show the best form. I'm looking forward to see all of you at home at our World Championships. Mir freuen uns, ein Karl in Antols zu sehen. Ci vediamo Antraselva. Ciao! <laughs>